Um, these are the <clears throat> air readings for the element of air for this week of January 9th, 2017. Um, this is for uh, the signs of Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. <laughs> um, again, these aren't really astrological readings, but I just use these uh, uh, these signs have their associations with the classical elements. So um, this is the reading for air. Um, so what what I see and feel here is that is is it just it feels like um, onslaught um, through the eyes and the ears. Um, so there's like an onslaught of of it just feels like a barrage of information, experience, um, all sorts of stuff kind of coming at you. Um, and it's you, you know the last uh, we've been doing these what a few weeks now, and uh, more than a month. Um, and it's it's interesting because the the elements. Um, uh, air tends to have a very kind of buzzy, flitty feeling, and this is not that this week. This feels almost like I said, like a flood, a deluge of of information and um, uh, experience. Oh, flood! <laughs> That's our ether readings. Um, flood. Um, we start. We were talking about the you know waters rising, um, but in this case, it's coming in through the ears and the eyes, and. Uh, <sighs> A lot of input that you're not necessarily asking for. Um, a lot of information that has to be processed that you're not really finding very pleasant. Um, and uh, what I just keep seeing here is like y'all need a focal point this week. Um, uh, y y I would strongly suggest um, uh, uh, something to reset your focus. Uh, and I'm seeing it in a couple ways. So one is there's the practice of Tratak. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's a um, yogic kind of practice where you literally just stare at something as long as possible. Not as long as possible, but it's like the idea is five minutes of staring at something like a candle flame or like a beautiful image even, you know, you guys, I think even a beautiful image would, would be too much right now. Really, really simple. A candle flame, a simple shape. Um, the symbol for air is a, uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful blue circle. This is green, but, you know, there's the, the circle. Um, you you got to reset your eyes. I feel like I remember, I'm being reminded of um, a, an exercise a while ago, too, which is where you close your eyes and you look up, down, down, up, left, right, right, left diagonal, 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 and this sort of resets your eyes, but you do that while, you're clo while your eyes are closed. Oh yeah, and then you go around clockwise, and then you go around counterclockwise. You know, you sort of roll your eyes around, and that this helps to uh, reset your ocular nerves. Um, and then there's also another one, which is where you can palm your eyes, and just try to suction cup your eyes so that you don't have any light coming in. And you can even open your eyes while you palm them, just getting your palms to sort of seal out all the light around your eyes. Um, I feel like you guys need to do that at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Monday, that's great. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if willing, practice some of those um, Tratak kind of exercises, the gazing exercise or the resetting of the eyes. Um, uh, fairly regularly, just because what I'm saying is, it's like, it seems like you're going to have a lot of ideas and insights coming at you that maybe you want to clear out so that you can instead um, uh, see what you see come Thursday. So it's like Thursday, you want to make sure your eyes and ears are clean and clear. Um, if you have practices of like, I don't know, uh, uh, cleansing your eyes or candling your ears or something could be good too because I'm just getting all of this stuff around the face. Neti pot maybe for the nose. <sighs> but the idea is, is that you want to clear that stuff out come Thursday. So that Thursday is almost like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're trying to flush and, and, and clear out whatever's coming in. Thursday, you're pretty clear. Um, that's the goal. So that Friday, when insight comes or when the winds of change come, you're not 
totally disoriented and totally confused. So it's like doing your best to kind of keep the crap out of your eyes and ears Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday gives you a little bit of a day of peace on Thursday where you see what you see, you know what you know, you hear what you hear. Moving into Friday, something comes out of nowhere, stirs the pot, sweeps you up. You know, I'm, lots of Mary Poppins imagery. Um, uh, and then, yeah, you're going to need to take practical action to integrate that information on Saturday and Sunday. And there is an element of communication at that point. Of It's very cool, you guys. So, so Saturday and Sunday... It's all about getting that stuff out, um, uh, uh, like on paper. Um, so communicating through writing or drawing, drawing. Um, uh, use, so it's like, it's like a little bit of journaling, but it's a little bit of, you know, um, uh, uh, um, just creative expression using your voice and using your vision. What do I see and what do I hear that needs to be written out or expressed on Saturday and Sunday so that I'm super clear come Monday and can sort of slide into action based on the events of this week. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I see and hear the truth. Now, mind you, remember, I love these affirmations because sometimes an affirmation is like affirming this thing. Sometimes an affirmation is um, not affirming it, but like, like if you doubt it, you can say the affirmation and it will... Um, encourage you to see and hear the truth. Maybe if you're not seeing and hearing the truth, it'll give you like a, a way to connect the dots. So um, that is the air, the affirmation for the element of air. That is the air reading from Elements of Spirit. Um, blessings. Good luck. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week.